Orville Dam update for Friday, April 7th, 2017. So today I just wanted to share with you this little clip I made using the brand new DWR drone footage, which is really, really good. Uh, looking right up the ravine, it's a, it's a great shot. And it does show what I think that we shouldn't be surprised at, which is that that big hunk of rock um, that I've dubbed the tooth is very much gone. And piggybacking on prognostication from the previous video, what I believe now is going to happen is that, that that rock, when you look at the aerial view here, you can see that that rock was providing basically like a blunt or a buffer, if you will, uh, for the water just coming right off of that damaged spillway into the, the first plunge pool and then going right into the, into the undercutting as it has already been occurring. And now, unfortunately, with that rock gone, water is just going to have a pretty fairly clear path right going right directly underneath those banks and probably all the way down. The other thing about this um, this big old rock, this thing I've called the tooth, is, you know, I initially had uh, tried to estimate the size in, in, a, in a previous video there, and you know, I came up with something like 60 by 80 or whatever, something like that. And when, you, when you're looking at this thing now, particularly in this image, you can see that that thing is really big. If you, you, know, you have the spillway, the, the remains of the spillway there as a reference, I would say if you were standing... Uh, at the very base of that thing, looking up, you'd probably be looking at at least 120, maybe 150 feet all the way to the top of it. So, just to you know, just to say, that thing was big. Uh, DWR is very wisely so working on removing air, uh, material from the hill down below. They're doing a lot of terracing down below, moving stuff around, and trying to get material away from those ledges in anticipation of um, further erosion and possible landslides, cliff slides, when they have to open up the spillway again. As for lake level and weather, well, weather has decidedly taken a downturn over the last 24 hours, and it was predicted. They knew that. Uh, it's looks like last night Oroville got well over an inch of rain, and I think areas above Oroville got two inches of, uh, or more. So more, more water being added to the system, no doubt about that. And the lake has responded kind of fairly quickly to that situation, as you would expect. Uh, over the last 12 hours, it's gone from about 18,000 CFS inflow to now 35,000 CFS as of this morning. With lake levels now not quite at 847, I think the lake's come up um, a little over a foot and a half in the last 12 hours. Then um, for out flows through the Hyatt power plant. Um, it's down below 10,000 now at about 9,800 CFS. So that's what we got for today, folks. Um, throw in your two cents if the spirit moves you. Thanks for watching.